Well, here's a lovely divided road in reality, but oh no, it's not divided in ways. This is a big one. So let's fix it. Right here is where it starts. Still do this. So here is where it will begin. All right, so cut it in half. Set this half over this, and this will be this side. Let's move this over to where it's going to be. Should be centered. Just like okay. so, um, for the next portion, do the same thing. So this is already on this side. So keep it so that we don't have to disconnect this. On the other side, bring that one over here. And that's how we know what we'll do with this. So that we don't have to disconnect it. Bring this side over here. I already have a place to put it. That's great. One way. And get it right down in the middle. Don't chase the turn lane here. Follow these same two roads. See, if you're chasing the turn lane, you bring this out early and then bring it back. And that's not very smooth, so don't do that. Follow the middle of these two lanes as the steady state. The other side, around, make that also one way. Connect it here. Bring the geometry where it needs to be. Don't chase the turn lane here either. Keep it smooth. Right, we've got this one predetermined. This is kind of a special case. So this is only connected to one side. So we can just reuse that whole thing. And do like this. That way we've got a whole node that's still gonna keep all its data. Bring this all the way back. Easy to miss some of these, so always go back and check. This comes back here. Okay. There we go. I'm not ignoring that. I'll come back to it. And continue on down the road. Now, sometimes you may want to save intermediately. This will be a good time to do that, but never save the map in an unroutable state. So let's just set this up. Tell you what, set up a temporary turnaround point here. And okay. and Before you save, make sure every turn 
that needs to be enabled is enabled. And let's not forget this. Yes, good, real good, and nice. How about you? Yes, no. Yes, yes, no. Now you can do a shift Z to show all arrows, and you would have caught that. I think that's everything. So now that we're in a good configuration, you can do a temporary save. take a while. That's better, isn't it? Moving along, you know what I didn't do? There's some things I should have done, which is make sure I have the speed limit for it. Okay, before I started. Okay, so 45, 40, 40. So I got lucky, I guess. I hope. Let's check. Snapshot 40, 45. Okay, well, that's good. Snapshot helps, but it might help to say, pretty. make yourself a temporary map comment or two and 45. Format doesn't matter as long as you understand what it means. Other things to note. Lanes, but lanes are easy to add afterwards. Uh, and things like elevation, in case there were a bridge that we missed. Okay, we're almost done here, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Okay, so we can continue along this way. We'll take it this way, and the other half can go this way. Bring this out to me. It's a control spot. Cut it in half, bring this over, look, one way. And it's not to meet its new friend. And we could delete this node if this weren't here, but since it is, we can just reuse it. That's another thing to check with city limits. Okay. This is just for U turns. We'll do that. And move on. The next one here. Move this over one way. Uh, oh, this is good. This is only on one side, so we can reuse that. That, uh, that side. That's, yeah, that's fine. So we'll do it like this. And this one over here. This you could probably go either way. You save some, you lose some data. And the most important thing is to save as much as you can. Okay, so one way, one way, one way. Here's an example where you can get rid of this. these together and you see shift z shift z check all your turns double check triple check everything yep there's one there's one One time, that looks like everything's great. Now your road's divided. 
same. You'll want to check lanes at this point. You know we have tools to make this easier, but you know, should I get vanilla right now? That's your, your last job. Okay, check the lines. That's next steps. But, uh, you know, double check. Uh, that's not really super on top. What's more important, though, is to make sure your median segments are set up right. So the name is good here, but the type is wrong. If, if U-turns are legal here, oh, see, no, see, I missed this. This is supposed to be one way. It's the other thing to check. Check all your one way, two way stuff. One way, one way, one way. Okay, so we're good. And now that it's done, I can straighten some of this stuff out better than it is. It may be helpful to divide first and straighten up later. You want to really keep things as smooth as you can. Follow that center line real good. I suggest getting junction angle info, getting these as close to zero as possible. The turn angles at the actual turns. But that's a different subject. Um, now this, if U-turns are legal here, let's say they are. You need this to be a street not a parking lot road, so that local traffic can get it. Now the fact that this is named is okay and good, uh, but let's say hypothetically you had a big, big, big boulevard over here, in which case it would be important to remove the name from this segment so that left turning traffic could be told. Turn left on Big Big Boulevard. Turn left on Village Market Street. But it's not like that, so we don't have to worry about that. And you're done. Much better. Now that's real. Another thing you should concern yourself with is turn times. Because this is now divided, the turn time on this node is going to be an amalgamation this way of straight movements and left movements where in reality those times are often very different. Same is true in this direction, this and this. It will store the right turn data but then it will also store the combo data which is not good data. That's a new problem here. In an intersection like this it's probably it's not a big deal here it doesn't. Is that noise? Okay. Here it doesn't matter at all because there is no straight data. So you have your right data being stored this way and your left data being stored this way and there's no pollution. The same is true here. No pollution near here, etc. But it's also a problem here. So we'll just hop on over into snapshot mode where you can see that before you had three different data sets. Now you have just the two. So to accommodate this, you need to add a junction box. Okay, so everything looks good. Always check every path. Make sure we don't have any no U turn signs. Let's see any, so that's fine. And save. Now let's check to see if we need another junction box. Here, you have your right data and your left data. There's no straight data. Here, you have your right and straight, there's no left. Here you have, on this node, your left and straight. Actually, here you do need one because 
this is the node where the data will be stored. And obviously, where cars of backup is here. So you can just really just put one over this little bit. And that way, it'll store this in this path as pertains to traffic coming out of this segment because that's where you're going to have your actual difference in wait times. So that should do it. Just making sure that, ah, no, it doesn't do it because new turns are not allowed here because there's no road to the left that satisfies the no U-turn restriction. Just be sure to check all the U-turns. Don't see any sign here prohibiting them, so we will leave that one alone. And once I add lanes, that'll be automatically set U-turn. I already disabled this one, but what about here? This one, no U-turn. Fortunately, the same junction box can be used to achieve that result. So other than that, all I have left is geometry. And this stuff all looks pretty good. Uh, well, this needs some work. Remember, we say don't chase the turn lanes now. This is two lane road and it's two lanes here. So don't, you don't want to chase this out just to snap back again. You know, just keep it smooth. Same thing here. Don't, don't chase it out just to snap back again. Definitely not here. You don't want to chase these turn lanes out and then cause an awkward transition here. No good. So just go back. Okay. But I really like to, you know, get in real close and make sure all those lines are covered real nice. Uh, normally I would be operating with scripts right now and use junction angle info to make sure Get all these as close to zero as possible, which does sometimes involve some of that. Just because it looks good. But uh, I digress. Point is, uh, once you've done all that, you should have a fully functional divided row. So we're done, except for lanes, which is really a separate subject that you can worry about all by yourself. Thank you.